Some people come in our life as blessings. Some come in your life as lessons. If you are kind, people may accuse you of selfish, ulterior motives, be kind anyway. If you are successful you will win some false friends and true enemies, succeed anyway. If you are honest and frank people will try to cheat you, be honest anyway. What you spend years building, someone could destroy overnight, build anyway. If you find serenity and happiness, they may be jealous of you, be happy anyway. The good you do today, will often be forgotten by tomorrow, do good anyway. Give the world the best you have, and it may never be enough, give your best anyway. Your true character is most accurately measured by how you treat those who can do nothing for you. Small things done with great love will change the world. The good you do today may be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. Give the world the best you have, and it may never be enough. Give your best anyway. For you see, in the end, it is between you and God. It was never between you and them anyway. Life is an opportunity, benefit from it. Life is beauty, admire it. Life is a dream, realize it. Life is a challenge, meet it. Life is a duty, complete it. Life is a game, play it. Life is a promise, fulfill it. Life is sorrow, overcome it. Life is a song, sing it. Life is a struggle, accept it. Life is a tragedy, confront it. Life is an adventure, dare it. Life is luck, make it. Life is too precious, do not destroy it. Life is life, fight for it. I can do things you cannot, you can do things I cannot, together we can do great things. I used to believe that prayer changes things, but now I know that prayer changes us, and we change things. Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow has not yet come. We have only today. Let us begin. At the end of life, we will not be judged by how many diplomas we have received, how much money we have made, how many great things we have done. We will be judged by I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat, I was naked and you clothed me. I was homeless, and you took me in. Never worry about numbers. Help one person at a time and always start with the person nearest you. If you want to change the world, go home, and love your family. Every time you smile at someone, it is an action of love, a gift to that person, a beautiful thing. Kind words can be short and easy to speak, but their echoes are truly endless. I don't do great things. I do small things with great love. There is no key to happiness, the door is always open. Spread love everywhere you go. Let no one ever come to you without leaving happier. If you judge people, you have no time to love them. The highest form of worship is to find the least among you and treat them like Jesus. I alone cannot change the world, but I can cast a stone across the waters to create many ripples. The problem with the world is that we draw the circle of our family too small. We ourselves feel that what we are doing is just a drop in the ocean. But the ocean would be less because of that missing drop. God does not create poverty, we do, because we do not share. There is much suffering in the world, physical, material, mental. The suffering of some can be blamed on the greed of others. The material and physical suffering is suffering from hunger, from homelessness, from all kinds of diseases. But the greatest suffering is being lonely, feeling unloved, having no one. I have come more and more to realize that it is being unwanted that is the worst disease that any human being can ever experience.
Speak tenderly, let there be kindness in your face, in your eyes, in your smile, in the warmth of your greeting. Always have a cheerful smile. Don't only give your care but give your heart as well. Be happy in the moment, that's enough. Each moment is all we need, not more. None of us, including me, ever do great things. But we can all do small things, with great love, and together we can do something wonderful. We need to find God, and he cannot be found in noise and restlessness. God is the friend of silence. See how nature, trees, flowers, grass grows in silence, see the stars, the moon, and the sun, how they move in silence. We need silence to be able to touch souls. The beginning of prayer is silence. If we really want to pray we must first learn to listen, for in the silence of the heart God speaks. And to be able to see that silence, to be able to hear God we need a clean heart, for a clean heart can see God, can hear God, can listen to God, and then only from the fullness of our heart can we speak to God. But we cannot speak unless we have listened, unless we have made that connection with God in the silence of our heart. I used to pray that God would feed the hungry, or do this or that, but now I pray that he will guide me to do whatever I'm supposed to do, what I can do. I used to pray for answers, but now I'm praying for strength. I used to believe that prayer changes things, but now I know that prayer changes us, and we change things. God doesn't require us to succeed, he only requires that you try. The hunger for love is much more difficult to remove than the hunger for bread. If you can't do great things, do little things with great love. If you can't do them with great love, do them with a little love. If you can't do them with a little love, do them anyway. Be the living expression of God's kindness, kindness in your face, kindness in your eyes, kindness in your smile. One of the greatest diseases is to be nobody to anybody. No matter how tired you are, no matter how physically exhausting this work may be, it's beautiful to bring a smile into someone's life, to care for someone in need. What greater joy can there be? May today be peace within. May you trust your highest power that you are exactly where you are meant to be. May you not forget the infinite possibilities that are born of faith. May you use those gifts that you have received, and pass on the love that has been given to you. May you be content knowing you are a child of God. Let this presence settle into your bones, and allow your soul the freedom to sing, dance, praise, and love. It is there for each and every one of you. If you are discouraged it is a sign of pride because it shows you trust in your own power. Your self-sufficiency, your selfishness, and your intellectual pride will inhibit his coming to live in your heart because God cannot fill what is already full. It is as simple as that. If each of us would only sweep our own doorstep, the whole world would be clean. You are greater than you know. Go out into the world today and love the people you meet. Let your presence light new light in the hearts of people. We can cure physical diseases with medicine, but the only cure for loneliness, despair, and hopelessness is love. There are many in the world who are dying for a piece of bread, but there are many more dying for a little love. Do ordinary things with extraordinary love. There is a light in this world, a healing spirit more powerful than any darkness we may encounter. We sometimes lose sight of this force when there is suffering, too much pain. Then suddenly, the spirit will emerge through the lives of ordinary people who hear a call and answer in extraordinary ways. You can pray while you work. Work doesn't stop prayer and prayer doesn't stop work. It requires only that small raising of the mind to him, I love you God, I trust you, I believe in you, I need you now. Small things like that. 
they are wonderful prayers. When you know how much God is in love with you then you can only live your life radiating that love. God didn't call me to be successful, he called me to be faithful. Any country that accepts abortion is not teaching its people to love but to use violence to get what they want. I have found the paradox, that if you love until it hurts, there can be no more hurt, only more love. Death is nothing else but going home to God, the bond of love will be unbroken for all eternity. Do you want to do something beautiful for God? There is a person who needs you. This is your chance. Life is an opportunity, benefit from it. Life is beauty, admire it. Life is a dream, realize it. At the heart of silence is prayer. At the heart of prayer is faith. At the heart of faith is life. At the heart of life is service. There is a light in this world, a healing spirit more powerful than any darkness we may encounter. Be faithful in small things because it is in them that your strength lies. There is a famine in America. Not a famine of food, but of love, of truth, of life. We have only today. Let us begin. Love begins by taking care of the closest ones, the ones at home. Give your hands to serve and your hearts to love. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.